Hey, Steven. I invited a friend over from work. My God, Pat, seriously? Just wanted to relax. Steven, you'll like her. Trust me. I told her you were a great guy. She's a nice girl, and that you need to meet. All right, fine. But if this is anything like last time, you were totally buying me beer. All right. But you gotta give her a try. Damn, that was fast. She's just not getting off of work. You know, one plus one equals two. <laughs> Steven, this is Jenny. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. The pleasure is all mine. I mean, uh, thanks for coming over. Hey, how's it going? Hey, uh, great. I'm a little exhausted from work, but... Thankfully, the week is over and I'm ready for the weekend. Totally. <laughs> so, uh, have you eaten here before? They have great soup and cheesecake. I'm diabetic, so I'll probably just stick with the soups. Oh, shit. I I'm sorry. I, I guess I should have asked. It's no big deal. That's what dates are for, right? We can get to know each other and then we won't have anything to say to one another once we're married. So what do you want to do when you get older? Assuming you get older, I mean, if you don't get hit by a bus or something. Gee, uh, okay, uh, well, assuming I don't get hit by a bus, I don't know, nothing? I mean, yeah, I guess if I think about it, I just sort of see myself sitting on a porch somewhere, staring out into the sunset with the one I love. That's sweet. Could we possibly be on a roof instead? Though, and like, maybe, possibly be throwing water balloons at the neighbor's kids? I'm sure we could, but only at sunset. Deal. So the soups are good. Today, yesterday, and today. We're hanging out at the sausage hey. shack. So why don't you come on down? Oh, good morning. Mm. So, since you're laying and you're working on your birthday, I thought that you should open this for first. How many birthday presents do I get? Just one. So, technically, you don't have a choice in the matter. Right. Open it, or aliens are going to come down and eat your soul. That makes absolutely no sense. It's like the time you told me, oh, what was it? Uh, oh, uh, that eating seafood would give me hairy palms. Mm, that was a small misunderstanding. Now I know it's only if you eat clams. Go ahead. Still doesn't make any sense. All right. Really? Let's keep going. Steamy tiny. <laughs> I hope you understand. Your presents are getting wrapped twice as much on your birthday. Just open it. All right, all right. What the? <clears throat> Dearest Steven, I love you, but I've chosen darkness. Like Batman. Mm -hmm. Now go to your Batmobile. Wow, that hurts. You know I have to take the bus to work because I don't have a Batmobile. Just go. Oh, all right, Jesus. No way. Way. Are you serious? Happy birthday. Oh 
Holy shit. You marry me? <gasps> oh, God. I'm excited. I mean, we have a little Steven or a little Jenny. Or a little Stenny or a little Jenny Finn. <laughs> Jesus. I don't even know if I'm fit to be a good mother. Baby, you're gonna be a great mother. We're gonna be great. I love you. I'm making decent money now. Mm -hmm. We're at the perfect age. I'm certainly not going anywhere. What if something happens to us? I mean, my mom is crazy, and your parents. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it was pretty rough after my parents died, but... You know, my aunt took me in, and she loved me. She turned me into your fine husband. <laughs> I need you to know, you and whoever our child will be, that guy's gonna be my life. As long as I have you, everything will be perfect. Baby. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> class. Oh, shit, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I fell asleep. I must have left my phone in the other room. If you're not going to fucking be around, then I might as well do this on my own. Pregnant. I barely get any fucking sleep with this little alien inside me twisting and turning around. And of course, the one time I do, you turn up your depressing shit music. What the fuck? You know I'm almost out of insulin, the doctors keep dicking me around every time I'm low. If you could relieve my stress by not annoying the absolute shit out of me, that would be awesome. I'm sorry I've been all hormonal and crazy these last few months. It's okay, baby. So I was thinking that we should name him Ian. Ian Curtis. You mean like, they would singer Joy Division, Ian Curtis? Mm-hmm. Didn't he kill himself? Also, I don't know if I'm comfortable with changing our last name. I meant like a middle name. It might make him the lead singer of our family rock band. Family rock band. Mm-hmm. Sure. I could play air guitar. I'm sure you could do a great air drums. 
I know how to play the drums. Drumming on my forehead in the morning to wake me up does not count as drumming. <laughs> we could be the joy forehead division. Oh. Yeah, I think I like Ian. But we are totally working on that band name. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Portland, bringing you the hits of today, yesterday, and today. High of 70 degrees, here's explosions. Hey, baby. Sorry that took so long. Jenny? Jenny? Oh, fuck. Baby. Baby. Steven? Steven. We did everything we could, but she had a diabetic coma with a hit on her head. You know you want to fly away. We don't need a plane. You want to see the landscape. And their son? Picture everything. Sorry. Now you're on the fast track. I tried everything. I can handle that. Take your simple math back. This life is for the strong. This road will take you anywhere. If you belong, if you belong, I can do this on my own, but I can't keep going on when I feel so alone, feel so alone. Let's have another round, won't let you down. Ooh, I need you now, don't drag me down. I miss you when you're not around. Ooh, Everything you know you're on the fast track I can handle that too.